So here I am getting ready and I realized I hadn't filmed the video about me telling you guys about what happened to me the other day because it was freaking horrible. So let me just start by saying a month ago, about a month ago, I won a gift certificate on my local radio station and it was a gift certificate for it's like a cellulite center and they do like different body treatments or whatever so I won that certificate and it was for a uh, one complimentary session with um, I don't even know what it's called but it's like one of those machines that they put onto your trouble area wherever it may be and it sends like really loud like the wave I don't know the wave noise thing and it was for that and um so I was like all excited right like I kept talking about it talking about it and I was like no I'm gonna eat good this week so that I can be doing good you know by the time I get it done and um so I'll be good like I was super super excited so the day it comes for me to go in so I go in and mind you I, I don't know what to prepare for I didn't know I was gonna be getting naked you know thank god I wore matching bra and underwear but I didn't know this and um so I I go in and then pretty much they have me fill out some like questionnaire about my body like do you have kids how many kids do you have what do you think is your problem area um stuff like that so i fill it out and then i give it to the girl and then she's like okay i'll be with you in a little bit okay whatever so she takes me into a back room and in that room there's like this blue sheet of paper like hanging on the wall and then on the bottom there's like these little footprint like where it tells you stand here stand here sides whatever so she tells me undress to your bra and underwear and um put this robe on with the opening to the front and i said okay so i do that and then she tells me um i'll be in in a little bit to take your pictures and your weight and your height and i say okay so she comes back in a little bit and this girl's really nice okay I, like i have nothing against that girl she was really really nice and um she <laughs> Comes in, takes my pictures, oh, and measurements, like, around my waist and my thighs. And she gets all of that done, and then she's like, okay, wait a second, let me get your room ready, whatever. And then she leaves to do my my room, get my room ready, and I'm waiting there, right? And then she comes back for me, we go into the other room. She tells me, take off the robe and lay down on the bed. So I'm laying there, and she's like, and the doctor will be with you in a little bit. And I said, okay. So I'm waiting there with the little ass towel, okay? And I have a big ass, you know what I mean? And I'm laying there, and I'm in my bra, and I have the freaking little towel just like right here. It, it was a little towel, like, you know, the little wash towel? Not the small ones like that, but the bigger ones like that. I had one of those on across my hips, and I'm just laying there waiting for the freaking doctor and it took like a good little while so i'm waiting there and then finally he comes in and he tells me okay i'm gonna show you your pictures we're gonna go over them let me tell you what i think whatever okay so he comes in and he's showing me the freaking pictures on the screen in front of me and i'm like oh my god like how nerve-wracking you know like seeing your body up there with bright ass fluorescent lights which we know do not accentuate your best assets because if you've ever had fluorescent lighting when you're going into a dressing room you know exactly what i'm talking about like all your dimples fucking show so i'm like he's telling me okay as you can see you have a few dimples on your buttocks and i'm like a few yeah okay i see him and then he's telling me okay and you see um he's telling me all my freaking flaws and at the end i'm like okay well shit man like i didn't think i was that bad you know what i mean and then he makes a comment he tells me um he tells me well you know your legs don't look your age then what the heck do they look like you know what i mean and he was telling me stuff like that and he's like 
um, you know, your problem is not a fat problem. It's a loose skin problem. That's what he told me on my stomach. And I, and I was thinking, well, I mean, I've had four kids, so I would think unless you're really, really super fit, you don't get loose skin. But since I have never been super, super fit, then of course I have loose skin, you know what I mean? So that really didn't faze me. Like, I know I've had kids. I know I've stretched and gotten down stretched um, four times, you know what I mean? So, okay, whatever. He tells me that, and he's like, it's a loose skin problem. And he's like, and your main problem would not be your stomach. It would be your legs because you have um, poor circulation, and I'm sure you get bruised easily, which I do. Like, right now, I can show you my legs, and I do have a couple of bruises on my legs. But... It was just, it just felt bad, you know, like having your flaws pointed out and all that. But in my mind, I was thinking, okay, well, you're going to help me. You're going to, I'm going to get this one complimentary session and we're going to be good, you know, not perfect, but I mean, we're getting there, you know, and it's free. Like who can beat that? You know, it was free. I want it. So I'm there listening to him. Hold on. I have to blow my nose. Okay. So I'm there and I'm listening to him tell me my flaws, whatever. And then he's telling me, you know, this is an opportunity of a lifetime and you should look at getting your arms too and this and that. And I'm thinking, in my mind, I'm thinking, wow, like I thought it was just on one section of your body, but you're telling me this is a, this is a chance of a lifetime. So maybe they're going to do a full session on my body, you know, my whole body. And I was like, okay, like I was getting excited kind of, but then I was like, okay, so when are you going to start, you know? And then... He all, he's all telling me all that, and then he's like, well, let me go ahead and show you um, how loud the machine is because it's really loud. And I said, okay. So I was like, okay, he wants to prepare me, you know, it's freaking loud, my, so I won't freak out, whatever. So I'm laying there, and then he puts a little gel, like that gel, like ultrasound gel, on a little piece, a little bit on my stomach and a little bit on my upper thigh. So I'm laying there, and then he tells me, um okay i'm gonna turn it on and i said okay so he has the machine it's like a long machine it's like a it, okay let's say it's like this but at the end of it right here it's like a pointy metal like not sharp but pointy you know and he has it on me and he's he puts it like that and then he's like okay on my thigh and he's like how are you feeling and i said good like, it's just really, really loud, but you don't feel anything, you know? If anything, you know when you get, like, a puff of, like, you know when they check your eyes and you get, like, a puff of air? That's how you feel on your thigh, but not really, you know what I mean? So, you're going like that, and then he does it for literally three seconds. And then he's like, okay, and he does it on my stomach for the three seconds the same exact way. And that was it. And he was like, it's loud, so it's loud, you know? And I was like, yeah, yeah. Mom. And then... What? What? Your belly button? Go find your shoes. So he does that and then he tells me, okay, um, do you have any questions? And I said, no. And he's like, okay, well, my, my assistant will come in to assist you. And I said, okay. So I thought, okay, she's going to come in and finish it, you know? So she comes in and she tells me, so how did you like it? And I was like, yeah, well, it sounds pretty good, you know? And I'm just telling her, yeah, okay, whatever. And then she's like, so... No, more like, don't pull that. Here, here, look at mama. Go show it to Kaylee. So, and she tells me, okay, so we recommend six sessions. And I'm like, okay, well, how much? I tell her, well, how much is a session? And she's like, well, in total for the six, um, it comes out to 1800 something something. But we'll give you, if you purchase those six, um, we'll give you two complimentary sessions. And so it'll be like eight, but you're paying for six. And I'm like, okay. And then I was like, oh, okay. And I said, at this point, I figured out. I don't think they're gonna do anything to me. Like, I I was expecting it, but at that moment I was like, you guys aren't gonna do anything to me, right? And then I'm like, well, that's a little too expensive for me, and this and then she's like, well, the monthly payments would come out to 283. And I was like, yeah, that's a little too expensive for me. And she's like, a little or a lot? 
Huh? Ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go get dressed so you can go get ice cream. Okay. Go. The I know. And then, so she tells me, a little or a lot? And I said, well, a lot. Because this weekend I'm going out of town. And I have my daughter's birthday party to plan this month. So I have a lot of stuff going on. Plus, 283 a month, seriously? That could be like someone's car payment, you know? So I was like, I'll talk to my boyfriend and I'll see, you know, what what he thinks, whatever. And she's like, I, but if you talk to your boyfriend, he's just going to tell you you're perfect the way you are. Okay, and I'm thinking, well, yeah, I think that's a good boyfriend, you know what I mean? And she's like, because that's how my boyfriend is, you know, but this is such a good product and this and that, whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, and then she tells me, well, I mean, we can lock this price for $50. If you leave the $50, we'll honor the price that we gave you today. And, you know, you'll be good with that price. And I said, um, you know what? I just have like a savings card. I don't have a debit card, so I wouldn't have an ATM. And then she's like, oh, we don't have an ATM. It's okay, Carter. I gave it to her. And I was like, oh, man. Okay, well. And she's like, there's an ATM at, at ATM at the gas station up the street. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go there. So I leave, and I'm just trying to get out of there, you know. Like, at that point, I seriously wanted to cry. Because I went in going for something, and I didn't even get it, you know. And then when I was walking out, I tell her, so that what the doctor just did right now, like, that's it? And she said, well, yeah, it was just a demonstration. And I'm thinking, a demonstration? No, like, it was supposed to be one complimentary session. What? Let me get the paper because I actually have it. Hold on. Okay, so this is a paper. It's a little crinkled up because I had it in my purse. But what does it say right there? A prize, one complimentary session. Right? One complimentary session. New year, new you. EP Sally Light Tether. One complimentary session. And I didn't get that. I got a demonstration. So basically, I went into this office. I got naked, down to my underwear, half naked. I got half naked for nothing. If it was a freaking demonstration and the man said I needed it on my arms, why not demonstrate on my arm? You know what I mean? Like, why did I have to get naked? Why did you have to measure me? Why? Like, I don't get it, you know? So as soon as I left, I called my mom and I was like, I just got out. And then she was like, oh, how did it go? And I said, it's bullshit. And I started crying. And I was like, I'm so upset. Like, I can't believe this happened. Like, I'm standing there half naked for nothing. And they said it was this and it wasn't. And I was just like, I had my hopes up for this. And I was like, because I never win anything, you know. Like, and I had signed up for that thing over the radio. And I didn't think I was going to get it. Because, like, I've never, I've never won something like that. So you just don't expect it. You know what I mean? So... It wasn't what I expected and I was upset and I was crying and I was like, I basically went there for someone to point out my flaws and be like, okay, well, you need this so this is how much it's going to be, you know, and it's just like, it's sad and I, when I left, I did, after I talked to my mom and my boyfriend about what happened, I did call the radio station to let them know and um, I talked to the man that was um in charge of that contest or raffle or whatever setting that whole thing up and i talked to him and i told and i was crying and i was being honest you know i was like i feel bad like i have my insecurities and i have my problem areas which i know are problem areas but i basically went there for them to tell me about them you know what i mean when it was supposed to be another thing it was i was supposed to walk out of there with like better self to self-esteem and be like okay i'm actually doing something for myself and helping me because you guys know stretch marks and loose skin after having our baby are really hard to get rid of and if you're going somewhere and they're telling you i can help you with this um you're excited you know what i mean and um I told him, I was like, I'm just upset, I feel really bad, like, I'm embarrassed. And then he's like, no, I completely understand, you know, um, I'm going to call him and see why they didn't um, own up to their end because it was supposed to be one complimentary session, and I'll talk to them and see what happens. He's like, but if I can get you the session, um, would you still be interested? And I said, honestly, no, I don't feel comfortable anymore. 
And I said, it's sad because I really wanted to do it, but I just wouldn't feel comfortable anymore, you know? And he's like, no, yeah, it's okay. And he's like, give me your number and take down my number if you need anything. Give me a call and let me know. And I'll be giving you a call. Let me talk to my manager. And um, what did he say? Let's see um, what we can, what we can, how we can make it up to you or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And then that was it. And then later that day, because my phone sucks and it dies like so quick. Hold on. So yeah, I talked to that man and that was it. And then later that day, my phone, because my phone dies super quick. It like the battery on this phone sucks. And um, I, when I turned it on later in the afternoon, I realized that I had uh, missed a call from that place. And they left me a voicemail. And it said, it was dumb because it was like basically, hold on, let's hear the TV too much. Basically, it was a girl calling me and apparently she was a manager there or whatever and she's like hi my name is Danielle and I'm the manager here whatever and she's like and I'm calling at a random at a random okay she's randomly calling her clients she says and she has a few questions that maybe I can help her with and maybe she can further assist me and I'm like okay like a random like no and I didn't call her back. I didn't call him back or anything because I see it like I'm going to call you back and you're just going to tell me, oh, I'm sorry for this and that, whatever. But, you know, you do you want to come in for this? And no, I don't. So, like, what's the what would be the point of me answering or calling back? You know what I mean? It's like it's like what's done is done. And I just don't feel comfortable anymore. But I don't know, like. I just felt hor. I felt horrible. Like that day, I felt horrible, and I was crying, and I couldn't talk about it without crying, and it just sucked. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you guys about it because <laughs> I need to vent myself. But I don't know if anything like that has happened to you guys. Comment below. Let me know. Let's share our stories and hopefully this never happens to anybody else again there because it feels horrible. It feels, in a way, you're violated. Like, the way you stand there naked and then they take pictures of you, like, with bright-ass lights on you, you're like, oh my god, you know? But this is for a reason. This is for a reason you're thinking. And at the end of the day, it wasn't. So it sucks. But, oh well. Oh well. And afterwards, I did go eat a burger because I needed to feel better. So, I ate a burger. But, that was it. That was my story. That was my horrible day. Now you guys know. <laughs> but, um, thank you for watching. Oh my gosh, I only talked for 18 minutes. I don't want to make this too long for you guys. But, um... I'll let you guys go and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.